Hello everyone, I thought I'd start today's advent video with the miniature record player and then we'll go over and say hello to Fanny and see what will be joining her in a moment. But we need to take off yesterday's disc which was Deck the Halls and I need to start to play this lovely disc and they are, they are a work of art actually. Absolute work of art, these little vintage pictures. This is classed as a vintage record player, obviously with modern components made in a sweatshop in China. But it's lovely to hark back to Christmas's past, although I've never lived in an era where we've had sheep at the door. But there we go. A lovely, lovely scene there. And obviously that cabin is very warm by the looks of those lights on in the window. I'm sure there's a roaring fire in there. So we'll pop this on and I'm going to tell you what this is called because it's not a traditional tune that I have I know anyway. This tune is called, and this is something that uh, I think is a lesson for us all, this tune, because it's called Let Us Be Happy and Cheerful. And the last two years or so, there's been, well, there has been happiness and cheerfulness, obviously, but it's been in short supply for some folk. So let's hope this Christmas we can all be happy and cheerful. And don't stop at Christmas, folks. Carry that on. No matter what they do to us, stand firm, hold your ground, and we'll get through this. I, I just know we will, folks. I know we'll get through it. No, I shouldn't... These videos are supposed to be silly nonsense. I shouldn't be going into a, a more serious philosophical, I can never say that word, philosophical debate about uh, the rights and the wrongs of what's happening. Anyway, we'll forget that for the next 30 seconds or so, and we'll turn on this record player, sit back and enjoy the tune. Well, I really enjoyed that tune. I think that's my favourite so far. Let us be happy and cheerful. It was very hey nonny nonny, wasn't it? I can just imagine Sid James and Barbara Windsor dancing to that in Carry On Henry. Sid James with his dirty old man laugh and Barbara Windsor with her mammary glands on show. Fantastic. Again, that's going right over the heads of the younger viewers. But anyone who's old enough to remember and love Carry On Films, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Some of you will know what I'm talking about. Anyway, OK, that was a lovely tune. It seems a shame to go over to Fanny now, but we've got to see what we're going to give Fanny in today's Advent video. Well, as you can see, Fanny is still on the internet. She's not been off it since I gave her that laptop. I think she's now involved with some mum's net discussion. I don't know what they're talking about, but I'm sure it's very interesting. Okay, Fanny, we're going to see ta -da, what is behind door number five. So I'm going to just go for it. Just go for it. Another little bag. Oh no, it's one of those self-assembly things. I think it's I think it's a race car folks. It looks like a little racing car. So I will assemble this off camera because this might take some time and then we'll uh, pop it in the diorama. Well folks, this is no ordinary race car. As you can see, it's a radio controlled race car. Batteries sadly not included. Here Fanny, get off the internet. Look what I've got you. I've got you this lovely radio controlled race car. Hours of fun. You'll have to get some batteries for it though. Pop out to Superdrug or something. What? Oh, I don't care. What? Oh, she's on level 52 of something. What? 
Let me have a look. Let me see what she's looking at. Hang on, folks. I'm just going to check what she's... Right, that's it, Fanny. I'm going to put parental control on that. You should not be looking at that sort of thing. This is an advent calendar. It's meant for little kids, not 50-something-year-old men. You dirty, dirty Fanny. Well, folks, I'm going to leave Fanny over there. I daren't tell you what she's been looking at, but uh, I'm sure it's not legal in many countries. So there's Fanny and uh, the record player. I've, I've just moved it out of the way, so I can't show you that again. <sighs> I don't know what's going to be behind door number six, but the only way of you finding out is to either buy one of these yourself and open them all up on the same day or wait until tomorrow, same time, same place, when I'll be opening something else for Fanny and playing you another lovely Christmas tune. Bye for now and thanks for watching.